Hello, everybody. This is Jamie the D, the Mad Welshman. And this is the Salted Grump, also known as Selnar. And we are Let's Playing as Elaine. More fool us. So yeah, as Elaine, it's a it's a ship girl idol shooty game. The best way to describe it is a cute em up instead of a shoot em up because it's involving cute battleship girls doing cute battleship things. And also existential horror, but we'll get to that. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Well, you're also here for history talk and, you know, um, being the person who smugs in completionist. Well, I mean, let's put it this way. On the splash screen, you have three survivors of World War II. I won't tell you how many people got killed on them. Yep. Um, oh god, did I really leave the theme song? I, I left the theme song on the whole thing. <laughs> to be fair, it's a good theme song. It's, it's nice. It's just one of those things that sets the tone for the game. Yeah. Um, there we go. So we are not on a we are not on Aurora. Aurora was, yeah, he is, and on my mobile I am. But uh, as it turns out, saves don't transfer. Boobs. Mm hmm. And boobs. Wham. First thing you see. Oh yeah. Um, as it turns out, saves don't transfer between a mobile and blue stacks even if you have the same Google account. <laughs> so, welcome to the tutorial. This is the Battle of Denmark Strait. Yeah, um, this... Oh my god, this is the beginning of the tutorial. The end of the tutorial will be somewhere in the second video. I bet this is something you'd forgotten. Oh, I remember quite well. It's just that the first tutorial mission kind of sets the tone for the game. It's all cute and cheerful with cute little chibis, and then horrible shit happens. <laughs> yep. Uh, so that's the Norfolk and the Suffolk. Both of which were um, British-made heavy cruisers, both of which had a long and illustrious career. And Norfolk's uh, being a bit of a crybaby is kind of a di uh, disservice to her historical record. Hmm. Along with um, Suffolk being an over-enthusiastic uh, cleaner. Well, she's actually considered the gardener of the royal maids in-game, but she's a space case otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Um, when we get to one of the side stories... Uh, Oh, oh wait, I'm not that far? <laughs> so, historically, the Battle of Denmark Strait had Norfolk and Suffolk involved first, followed by six British destroyers detached to search for the German warships in the area, as well as then the newest King George V battleship and HMS Hood, the pride of the British Navy. This is not going to go well for Hood. No, this is not going to go well for Hood, and, uh... The Prince Eugen is not actually the reason. Well, I mean, according to historical records, Prince Eugen did basically shoot Hood's spotting top off, which is essentially the equivalent of giving her a concussion. Yeah, this is true, but it wasn't the... it wasn't the big blow. Oh, wait, that's Bismarck, who did do the big blow. Yeah, this is a reference to the fact that historically Hood's crew misidentified who they were shooting at. Yes. Yes. It, this is part of why I'm not terribly nostalgic about this tutorial. I know this. I know all of this. Please stop pointing the finger until I click. I mean, at least they're using HMS Amazon, which was a, a prototype design that turned into a design commonality for all British destroyers as the tutorial member. True. 
<laughs> now, here's the kicker. Bismarck, when she shows up, this is the first time anyone saw her in-game, and then they had to wait two and a half years for her to actually be recruitable. I mean, we're, we're still waiting on some characters to be recruitable, but we'll, we'll get to those. Yeah, Bismarck is somewhat scary. I mean, even with only 50 health bars instead of the usual 70 or 80 for a level 100 character. Yeah. I don't even know what level these characters are at. They're all level 100. Oh, they're all level 100. Yeah, so a couple of blows has knocked off half of Norfolk itself. This and should Norfolk give you has some a idea. Armor over yeah, this should give you some idea of how scary this mark is and, and 29,000 health. That's three times its actual health in the game. Yes. Yep, which is kind of entertaining because of the fact that in at least one iteration of the series, the PS4 and PC game Crosswave, those two are essentially the epitome of confused lesbian noises. Oh, they, they, they are disaster lesbians. And, oh ho ho ho, who's this? Oh, those, and two, this. those two assholes. Yeah, these two assholes. Don't worry, these two assholes tend to stay out of the fighting, but they're just incredibly threatening in every way. Yeah. And we will be seeing them quite a lot. So, here's our first three starters. They're all ass kickers. Yep. Laffy, as mentioned in the text, is a little murder monster that uh, saw her end at the Second Battle of Guadalcanal on uh, November 13th, 1942 where she basically took a 14-inch shell to the face and a torpedo up her arse before exploding, but she also nearly murdered the Admiral in charge of the IJN attacking force and killed his chief of staff. Yep. Um, Z-23 is the one that most people recommend for starters. Because she hits like a ton of bricks. <laughs> it's obscene. Yeah. Uh, and Javelin is Magical Girl Ship, who nonetheless like all of the starters, is pretty good. Of all of the starters, Javelin's the only one to actually survive World War II, I might add. So, building this first... All the builds are random, including this first one. Congratulations! Um, Fortune is a British destroyer. She got turned into a Canadian in 1943. Yep. And she's not bad... I mean, barring the yeah. fact that she's essentially a religious cultist, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we... We get to that in the ship update, don't you worry. I mean, um, yeah, she's a crybaby as well, as shown by the brief glimpse of her idle animation in the fleet formation screen. Oh, god, yeah. Um, so... You... You will be sent in here without your full three. Don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Don't worry, you actually have your full fleet, because that's all you have right now. Yeah. Um, and 1-1 one, one is a piece of piss. Yeah, you actually I, have to I, do I... it three times to clear it all through, though, so... Yeah, and we will be... We will be showing those, and the evasion always fails. It's the tutorial, you have to kind of have to bend over and take it that one time. Hello, Belfast. Yeah. Hello, Azuma. Yeah... Um, but as we'll see, it is really hard to lose a battle here. Yeah, it's essentially a training battle, and as uh, Laffy's commentary of self-imposed limiter uh, says, and you've probably heard, her voice actor might be familiar to those who have been interested in stuff like Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, where she voices Kana. And, uh, yeah, MVPs get effectively double experience. 
Yep, MVP gets uh, 100, gets 200% experience. The Fleet Flagship gets 150% experience. And yes, those experience totals stack. Yep. This is why one character in particular will become utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I have her at the level cap. She remains utterly ridiculous. Yep. Um, so, this is anonymous. This is anomalous in normal play. Uh, even if I forget that it's anomalous for the first day, at least. So, should I reach over at the internet and smack you upside the back of the head now or later? Because I did tell you about this when you first got into the game. Yeah, and then I forgot it for the LP, so you can slap me now. Okay. Ow. So, um, tech one, tech two boxes. Don't bother. You don't need the full set of gear until God, two, three, two, four, maybe. If that. Yeah. So the big thing here is that even without uh, a weapon in the slot, the weapons act as bonuses more than anything. The slot still functions. So no matter what, laugh you will always have torpedoes to fire at someone. It's just, she'll start with, I believe, uh, triples? Yeah. Yeah. She Bulk defaults to triples, triples, so... It's not bad, but, well, obviously, it's not so much great as it is just semi-decent-ish. Yeah. And now the heavy ship! Oh, I'm so happy about this. Yeah, you got fucking More lucky. Amp. Oh, wait, wait, what did I actually get this one? No, I got <laughs> Kent, never mind. <laughs> so, Kent is a meme among the Azerlane community because <laughs> she constantly shows up everywhere whenever you're trying to get more expensive ships on the events because the build pool has her as one of the most common results. And as a result, her sh shout of "Hey, Shiki Khan!" has been turned into "Hey, Shitty Can." Not helped by the fact that her armor really is a shitty can. <laughs> I mean, as I mentioned again in the text information about her, her armor is so thin that you can see her nipples through her top. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we evaded it this time. That again just happened. Don't you love tutorials? And I that's love... the Russians. Yeah, yeah, that's the Northern Parliament, who are very scary. Yep. Now, I'm let's playing this on Blue Stacks, which is uh, a Android emulator. Which is far uh, better than the port directly from phone to play it on your phone via your PC. Oh shit, you got Oh ran. god. Yeah, Craven ain't bad, honestly. Yeah, she's a gridly class destroyer. She's cheap as the uh, old dirt, and she has a lot of torpedoes and decent gun. Yeah. She's a solid common. It's she just has the, the worst commons... name. <laughs> hmm? She just has the worst name. She really does. Um... Yeah, uh, Bluestacks, you do need to enable virtualization. Uh, to run it properly, most modern computers have that capability. Uh, otherwise, it will run even shittier than Samsung DeX. But it has keyboard support. Yep, so this is actually based off of a historical training exercise that happened about a week before Pearl Harbor, where Hornet acted as the opposition and was ordered to do a fleet problem, which is the US code for uh, military exercise such flash thought experiment, of an attack on Pearl Harbor. And she proceeded to basically paint half the ships in the harbor uh, green with her uh, ammunition. Ouch. Yeah, so, well, you'd think that the politics behind the scenes would have gotten their thumbs out, because this has been going on since the 1920s, when Saratoga and Lexington started the first fleet problems to show just how vulnerable a harbor was to air attack. Hey. <laughs> Hornet's 
not lying in that her sisters are more powerful than her. Yeah. Also, the reason why her sisters are out on a mission is because they were transporting planes to Wake Island. And I believe we'll be seeing Wake Island. So, it's... It's no spoiler to say it's not Sirens. Uh, sirens are the far future ships, and I use that term advisedly. Um, Horrible who are monstrosities. The yeah, yeah, who are the primary antagonists. Um, except in the story mode, where... Not really. Not until yeah. much later. In the story mode, they're basically ladies not appearing in this game. In the events, which is where the really weird and interesting stuff happens, you get to all wait, sorts wait, of wait, 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 wait. Ready? Ready? Yes! Uh, that was because of the uh, anniversary <laughs> celebration, if I recall correctly. Yes. <laughs> but it was still filthy looking. <laughs> Yeah, so that's when the game basically says, Congratulations, you're a good egg. Have a decent character. She really is. Um, she's actually pretty solid in PvP and training events. Uh, you will get through these roughly in your first month. Yeah, first week if you're an absolute monster. Yeah, but not all of us are absolute monsters. Some of us are stingy bastards. <clears throat> oh, please, I was a stingy bastard and an absolute monster at the same time. Um, so, these are beginner rewards. These will not happen afterwards. So once you hit stage four, no more of that. First time recharge, once you buy a thing, no more of that. Yeah, um, so you can spend 99 cents, quite literally, to get yourself 60 gems, and as a result, you get one of the best carriers in the game. Yeah. And, uh, reminder to self, I've got to edit out the, uh, the purchasing of that 99 cents. Yes. Uh, because it is an actual Google Play pop-up. Um, oh wait, there was Indy on day two? I forgot about that. So, welcome to the Yamagi server. Have a unicorn! <laughs> unicorn <laughs> is both... Yeah, as Jamie just squealed, Unicorn is both weaponized adorable and one of the best backliners for support because she offers a full heal to, well, not quite a full heal, but almost 10% of the frontline's health every time she launches planes. So everyone on the baby specs her for, well, just speed. Yep. She's so good. Um, except me, because I'm a Burke. <clears throat> well, yeah, we know you're a Burke. So, uh... I don't know... Oh, I know why I didn't collect coins, because there was no points. I can't collect points, because I'm well above my limit. <laughs> yes, yeah, your limit being 7,200, which increases by about 600 per commander level. And yeah. you're currently sitting at about 20,000. Yeah. Um... So in very short order, you can upgrade your merchants. Upgrade them every time you get the chance. Upgrade your, well, maybe not the lecture hall. The lecture hall's pretty low priority until you hit level 100. Ah, look. The, uh, decent one of Cannon's Elegy, Repulse. Yeah. Despite her appearance, she is actually one of the older girls in the game. Yeah. Yeah, apart from, you know, the various big titty battleships. Hello, oh, Illustrious. I mean, <laughs> Illustrious is actually very young. She was only completed in 1940. Hmm. Um, so, all the dailies, you, unless you're forgetting things, you will generally get through the dailies. With maybe one exception on day one. We are again quite lucky because Amagi is a really new server. As in, it was less than a week old when Jamie started on this. Yeah. And yes, the wedding it... ring is expensive at 900 gems a pop. 600. 
That's uh, wow. six hundred now. Huh, that's strange. Yeah, probably yeah, a discount. Yeah, six hundred. Might have been. Um, any which way, uh, I've actually made a minor mistake here. Only a minor one. Doesn't cost me anything so far. I mean, the only minor mistake I can see is you putting Hood in the flank instead of on the flag. That's what I was referring to. If you put Hood in the flagship position, her special barrage fucks everything. Instead of only fucking up half of the screen. Yeah. Um... Although, in exercises, less damage will happen to the flanking mains. We'll talk but about exercises later. They are full of swearing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're not actually commenting on the first exercises, because uh, they speak for themselves. Mostly they speak for Jamie being a uh, hilarious disaster magnet. No, 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 no. I still managed to scrape out three out of the <laughs> three victories. So, when you begin, there is next to no reason not to build like a motherfucker. Of course, what I can do is I can just use all my finishes. The, you nearly always end up with more finishes than cubes, to be honest. Unless you're like me. So yeah, that defeat escort fleet uh, tag, which is required to three-star to this thing, only counts for the actual fleet that pops up there. Ambushes do not count. Yep. So that counts. And uh, we've done it two times so far, so I believe this is the we second do time. fulfill the requirement. Oh, is this the second time? Yep. Oh, so prepare for some irritation. Less irritation and more just, eh, it happens. It See? It does, but... <laughs> just <laughs> delete. Yep. Uh, we're getting a lot of this one, family. Yep, so far you have Crescent and Signet. You just need Comet to round out the 3C class destroyers. All of which transferred to the Royal Canadian Navy in 1937. So, it helps that we're above the level of the characters now. Not so much now, but later on level differences will count. Yeah, again, going back to the actual write-up, the level difference is such that if you have a character that's levels above the enemy, they get an attack and defense buff of 2% per level difference, up to a maximum of 50%. Yeah. Of course, that also works against you. Yep. So it ends up being double trouble, and the further along you go, the more those two levels matter. As I've been finding to my great pain. And my great amusement. Well, yes, but you're on... 13-something. So, yeah, we didn't get the second star because... You have to do this three times, and... I believe you always get ambushed there in 1-1. One, one. Yep, it is a literal ambush block. There is no other purpose for it except to smildly annoy you with the ambush tag. Or, of course, to, uh, on an 8% chance. 9%. Um, well, I mean, everyone knows that when you play XCOM, a 95% chance to hit means a 5% chance to miss is guaranteed to go off. Yeah. Um, thankfully it didn't this time, but I believe at some point, I don't know if I put it in the footage, it, it'll happen sooner or later, an 82% chance. I mean, the lowest ambush evasion chance I have ever seen in my own game is 85% and I still get ambushed regularly. Yeah. And get sucked into the fights. Yeah.
自己リミット解除。Um, it's... I think we'll talk about fleet types next mission, but suffice to say, um, fleet types in a mission will always have the same composition. Yeah, short version, you got three up front, you got three up back, and if you lose all three up front or the one in the middle in the back, it's mission over for that fleet. Oh, yeah, 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 for your fleet. I was more talking about the enemy fleets always being the, the same bossy ships, etc. for their time. Kind of ish. I mean, you actually get a warning on what bosses which when you first open up the uh, tab, the panel for the actual mission you're going into. And hi, my call. Yes, yeah. her description says it all. She likes to sleep and dream and eat popsicles. She really likes her popsicles. To the point she pops up in the dormitory menu when you're selecting food. Yep. So, I will not always be letting Laffy get her full sentences out, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Well, she is weaponized adorable, you have better uses for her. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, I will be using the collect all button sometime. Uh, but you won't see it, because uh, I'll be removing most of the bump. Yeah, and there's a... I wouldn't say it's a lot of bump, but there's enough that it's just very much a case of running on mental autopilot for when you have a routine set in the game. Yeah, once we get to day two, there'll be a very short segment at the beginning going, Here is your daily routine. And, oh! Jamie. Oh, past me! Past me, why? The worst part is that it's a fucking full mark. <sighs> At least the Dauntless has uses as a bullet magnet. I know. <laughs> so, we haven't unlocked Dorm, we haven't unlocked the Cat Lodge. You uh, did we have gotten that, level though. 5, which means. <sighs> Don't do it. Don't do it. Thank God you're not doing it using finishers. I, I'm cringing. From the future. Oh, it's another Kent. <laughs> yeah, so, a bit of interesting trivia about Kent is that from 1930 until 1936, she had a tiger on board. Scum! Scum! Yes, I informed uh, Jamie about Alba's historical performance caused by her admiral being a complete shitwomble. Oh. Yes! Oh, there we are, there we are. Yep. Okay, so. Feed them to war spite! Yeah, Sorry. Warspite is by far <laughs> the best battleship in the game. She really is. There, there's very good reasons we rhapsodize about uh, about her in the ship update. I mean, as I said, Warspite is to the Royal Navy as USS Enterprise is to the American Navy. Oh, and she's in our fleet for... Day one. Congratulations, you're following in my footsteps. Ah, <sighs> and Portland, who will not shut up about Indy even when you marry her. The funny thing is that out of all of Portland's lines, she has one line where she's not referencing her sister, and that line references the omission. Uh huh. It's still a disservice to a heavy cruiser that survived World War II, had a total of 16 battle stars, and actually had a long list of really interesting and stressful shenanigans, up to and including surviving some of the nastiest fighting possible. Mm-hmm. Ranger, not bad. rng -er, as she is often <laughs> nicknamed, has skills that are purely built around fucking shit up via RNG. Yep. Yep. Similar to Long Island, really. Only better in every way, because Ranger was an actual fleet carrier and Long Island was a converted cargo hauler. So, we won't be using uh, the exchange. Not yet. 
first we have to retire ships, and we're not worried about that, and yes, you you do do a lot of flailing around on your first day, even if you're expi- Oh! No, that's just you, Jamie. <sighs> anyway, yes, those plate things. Um, they're some of the things you cannot craft. Don't worry, you'll get lots of them. An you'll absolute fuck stonk. Yeah, yeah, you will be sick and fucking tired of tier one plates by the time you hit, uh... 7-2, uh, I want to say? Yeah, pretty much. By that point, you're looking at having all of your weapons around plus six and all purple tier. I got them to plus eight before six four. And I see you made another mistake. Nope. I'm just demonstrating what it does. I will be making that mistake later, however. You repeatedly <laughs> and often. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. So yeah, as so, you can see, the game actually tells you which weapons are on which girl. So that's kind of nice. It is kind of nice, but uh, if you want to actually see what you can equip, turn it off. Turn it off. There, uh, is there an option to permanently turn it off? I don't believe there is. I mean, it defaults it to uh, being off normally. It's just very much a matter of you just have to find that toggle in the settings and make sure it's set to oh. off. Oh! Right, okay, I'll have to do that. Um, so we have no auxiliary gear. However, uh, that does not mean that, uh, they will not shoot auxiliary guns, because by default all battleships oh. in the game have 14 centimeter guns. No, no, I mean the utility stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, even, that's just as important, if not more, so my bad, it's, I'm dragging my ass yeah. a bit. The, the thing being that... Auxiliary items... They're uncommon. Um, early on, yes. Yeah. Yeah, later on, you get more of them. Uh, you've got better tech boxes for a start. Um... Hmm. 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 I mean, mm. look at that firing rate. Look at yeah. the fact that Hood's gun... Well, Hood's Barrage is on firing, not as a timer. I know. I know. <sighs> that disappointed sigh is going to be your bane, you know that. Oh, I know. Yeah, so... The game will load you up with stuff early. It is a free-to-play game, it wants to be friendly at the beginning, but even later on, it's not actually bad. I mean, let's put it this way, uh, the game in the build menu will tell you the ratio of build type, so you'll always have a 7% chance of getting a gold tier, you'll always have a 30-odd percent chance of getting a purple tier, so on and so forth. It's obscenely good. Yeah. Um, threat evaluation we'll deal with, I think, in the next video. The only thing threat evaluation does on normal difficulty maps like these is it kills ambushes and airstrikes. You get them to Which be is safe. nice, but... Oh, wait! Hold on, hold on. You know. Existential tears. Mm-hmm. Yeah... And yes, the artist actually took the time to make certain that image was pretty much exactly of Arizona as she was on around 11 in the morning on 1941, <laughs> December 7th. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, don't expect the story to last, because unfortunately the main storyline... 
um, never really got implemented fully, did it? No, it's, uh, the developers have been trying to get chapters 4 and 5 out for a while, but, uh, certain loud reactionary voices that screeched the IJN did nothing wrong are trying to force the, uh, story to be revised. Oh, Jesus. You know, uh, DMM mostly, cause, well, they think that this game is competition and that their game of wife boat girls all about the sadness and majesty of the IJN is still viable. Fucking idiots. Yeah, we... We will... There are words. Strong in words. one of the... Hmm? There are strong words to be had about uh, what the lead designer of Kantai Collection has said about Azur Lane. And we will be saying them, but not in the main story. Yeah. So Alec here is one of the little beavers. She is a Fletcher class destroyer, which means she has 174 goddamn siblings. <laughs> and she is, well, otherwise about as flat as a board personality wise. Yeah. Uh, ooh, treasure ship! Yeah, Yay. treasure ships are nice, because treasure ships are almost always guaranteed to give you either plates or a loot box. And oh, both of these things are nice. <laughs> um, Especially because, unlike certain games, you don't have to buy keys to open the boxes. Oh, god, yeah. And you can craft the boxes into better boxes. Up to a point. Uh, T1, we'd, we'd actually skipped over this while we were bitching about tech boxes. Uh, but T1 and T2 tech boxes can both be crafted at 5 to 1 ratio of the next highest tier. Yeah, so 5T1 can be turned into 5T2, 1T2, 5T2 can be turned into 1T3. T3 is the be baseline benchmark by mid game. You want the purples out of it. You do not want to stick around for the lower tiers like blues or grays. Yeah, I mean, I'm at day 17 now. Now, um, now one thing to I'm clarify, a... one thing to clarify, this is specifically yep. for gear. The girls, regardless of their uh, rarity, are all viable up until late game depending on how much time you invest into them to make them level up and such. Yeah. Enhancing them, giving them better kick, upping their skills. Oh, Jesus God, up their, upping their skills. Yeah, in that case, uh, what I've personally done is I've just gone, okay, all the gold tier ones, you done, start on the purpose. Yeah. Um, complete model unknown. Well, not for long. This is the Tone! Of the Tone class heavy cruisers, no, she is not yet available as a recruitable character in-game, despite the fact that she's been around since the very start. And she's our first example of a shielded enemy. Yeah, shields don't work against barrages. Shields don't work against barrages, or torpedoes, or, or airstrikes. airstrikes. <laughs> but they sure as shit work against your guns for... Enough time to annoy you. <laughs> yeah, it depends on the ship, it depends on the difficulty, but essentially your average shield will last between 5 to 15 hits or 15 to 20 seconds. Whichever comes first. There are a total of five girls you can recruit that have shields. Three of them are German. And there are a total of lots of girls in the story who have shields. But not canonically. <laughs> well, I don't know. Considering all the shit that was thrown at Prince Oigen, she kind of earned her shields. Yeah, yeah, but what about Kako? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be fair. What happened to Kako was very much a case of goddammit, Alba. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, we're... We're not going to be showing the majority of this bump. I've said it before. I'll be saying it throughout this video. <laughs> bumpity bumpity bump. Yeah. Um, fun historical fact. Uh, bump is actually an old military term uh, and refers to... Um, it's 
actual long name is Bumfluff. Also known as, there's an officer behind me, isn't there, sir? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a nice, polite way of referring to really irritating work that nonetheless needs paying attention to. I mean, it could be worse. It could be a bunch of uh, feather-brained REMFs. Mm-hmm. For those not in the know, REMF is Rear Echelon Motherfucker. Ah, the autoloader. Yeah, so the thing about battleships, or battle cruisers, because Hood is uh, kind of thin skinned, even with 12 inches of armor, is simply the fact that they only really get to fire their guns once or twice in an engagement. If you have a long engagement, then you're probably not going to get the Beat the Fight in Less Than 120 Seconds award. Yeah. So, reloaders are really good, especially when somebody has a skill that happens every barrage. And here we learn something new! Look at the Dauntless! Look at that 2,000-pound bomb! Look at the Fulmar with its 200-pound bombs! Ahem. <clears throat> Yeah. Needless to say, bigger bomb makes bigger damage. Tiny bomb makes embarrassing damage, except against light units. Haha, <laughs> big stuff, big. Mechanics wise, for <laughs> dive bombers, the SB2C Hell Diver, which caps out as a purple tier is widely considered the best dive bomber in the game because it's toting a 2,000-pound to 2,500-pounders. So, we are finally doing an enhancement. Um, we like to think of this as eating ships. Om nom nom. Hen hence the line earlier, feed them mm. to more spite. Which is a uh, bit of a misnomer because you want to be a bit picky with how you feed your ships. You, you do if you want to maximize it. By the time you're late game like me with my commander level of 112 out of a cap of 150, you don't give a flip. Oh, is it 150 now? I thought it was 120. Uh, no, commander level is 150. It's the ship level that's 150. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Um... Yeah, so throughout this chapter, uh, it will take three battles to clear. Fully clear. And it will take one battle to clear, clear them. Um, this will change as time goes on. Yeah, so there's basically two stages to the battles. There's the slapping around the fleets to make the boss spawn, and then you kill the boss, and that gives you a percentage of clearing the actual map. And when you get 100% clear, you can move on to the next map where you can stick around and slap things around to get three stars. Yeah. In general, uh, in general, I recommend getting the three stars because there's extra rewards for doing that, including gems, which is the in-game well, in real money. Yeah, it's the in-game real money. Uh, every one you do, it's something like 50 gems. It is 50 gems for the early yeah, game. Yeah, it's market. 50 for the early, it's 100 for the later. I mean... Yeah. I think 13.4 has 200 gems, which is roughly equivalent to $3.30. Yeah. And that, in and of itself, is worth a dock upgrade, which is 10 more slots for your ship girls. And dock upgrades are, are important, because, well, you're going to run out of space fast, even though the game is obscenely generous early on, giving you 150 dock slots. Oh yeah, we'll we'll be verging on those by I think day eight. Well, I mean, let's put it this way: when the game started uh, its open beta for English in 2018, August thereabouts, there were a total of 147 oh. unique girls. And right now, there's I think 370 plus 19 unique collaboration girls that are no longer accessible. And events. 
well, the event girls are accessible because the events rerun. It's just the case that it's stuff like the Kazuna Eye collaboration or the Polo Live collaboration or the Neptunia yeah. collaboration. Okay, so, Gorm, uh, this will actually be pretty close to the end. Um, the dorm accelerates morale restoration. Um, we'll we'll get into that later. The short version is that the more your girls fight, the more tired they get. They need downtime. Yeah. Um, and you can have perfectly normal downtime where you just don't fight with them, or you can have this, which also gives XP. Except for the second floor, which doesn't. It just... Yeah. The second floor, which is unlocked after you fully expand the ground floor of the dorm, is very much... Oh, god damn it! that's the McCall that's disposable. And that Craven is the one that's disposable. <laughs> you can tell because of the lock icon on them. Yeah, yeah, I, I forget about the lock icon a lot. <sighs> Shake no, no, ball. no, I, I get better, I get better. So, sure you do. No, I genuinely do. Um, so we're using all of these because we will be getting more during yeah. the day. As shown in there fact, by now. <laughs> restocking snacks in the dorm, you get not only furniture coins, which you, you can use to upgrade the happiness level in the dorm by buying shit, but you get some, well, extra food. Yeah. Um, and if you spend 800 oil... Uh, don't have enough for things yet. <laughs> you won't have enough for a while. Oh, no, 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 you've definitely got enough for decor. Individual bits, sure, not the full collections. Oh, god, no. No, 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 I prefer buying individual bits anyway. You've, you've seen my room as it is day 17. <laughs> yes, it's a train wreck. It is! It's a glorious train wreck with a 5th of November reference. I am so proud of my treasonous little ship home. Uh -huh. So, as you can see there, Laffy just fired off a skill, the War God of Solomon, that is her personal skill, which, if I recall correctly, boosts her uh, reload speed by somewhere in the ballpark of 60%. Yes, it's one of the more powerful reload skills. Uh, it only lasts for two seconds. Um, eight seconds, actually. Oh, eight seconds. Um, so it cools down then. The big thing is that it's activated when she fires, and it only has a 5% chance of, uh, basically rocking. Yeah. It'll still proc a lot, because... The main guns on destroyers are usually pretty nippy. Well, they have to be because they have such a low damage output, so their uh, DPS is entirely based around the PS part. Yeah. Um, Needless to say, when you have some destroyers, like Z23 with their stupidly high attack power, giving them mm -hmm. a DPS focused gun makes them go from rude to absolutely obscene. Ah, it warms my heart. So, we're not too worried about commander level yet. Um, there will be some minor irritation when we get to the second video. I mean, the uh, big cause... thing about commander level is that it's essentially controls three things. The first thing it controls is quite simply how much stuff you can have in storage, how much oil, how much gold you can have as a soft cap. So at the moment, as you can see, Jamie has a maximum of 10,000. When we started this, when he was level 3, it was only 7,200, so it adds up pretty quickly. Yeah. Oil adds up um, about 100 a level, I think. Yeah, you can go above that cap, we've demonstrated that too, but there's also a second hard cap. Yeah, the hard is... cap is... <laughs> It, yeah, sorry about that, Jamie, but is the hard the cap is obscene. Story. Yeah, the hard cap is actually pretty uh, high. It's surprisingly difficult to get to. Unless you're, like, really, really early level. And you you have a high fuel event. 
I have seen screenshots of someone hitting the hard cap on both gold and oil. It turns out the gold hard cap is about 600,000. Yeah. The oil hard cap is 25,000. Yeah. Uh, you will always get more coins than oil. You will always lose more coins than oil. <laughs> I mean, it's like looking in a politician's wallet. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, so by the end of this, we'll have cleared one two. By the end of the next video, we'll have cleared uh, two one and hard mode one one. We didn't deal with hard mode yet, and that's because we are definitely not leveled for it. And hard mode, even in one one, we'll try to push your shit in when you're not looking. Oh yeah. So we've seen some torpedo ships, but I don't believe we've seen any fuckers yet. No, the Jihad Jeeps are limited to World 2 and beyond. Jihad Jeeps are the, well, battlefield-esque nickname for what they are, bomb ships. Yeah. Um, what if I told you they're seen in 1-4? Then I would say that it's been so long since I last entered uh, World 1 that I wholly admit that my memory is easy in regards to that. Yeah, and to be fair, bomb ships at the beginning are not a big problem. Yeah, they might do a few points of damage when you have hit points in several hundreds to thousands. Yeah. Yeah, like... I, I think in the second video... There's ones doing, like, 32 damage. <laughs> Meanwhile, the bomb ships in World 11 start to stack up around, oh, 200 to 500 damage, depending on if they get a crit against you. Yep. Basically, by the time you hit, uh, I think, uh, 4-2? Um, by the time you hit 4-2, you want to take notes of bomb ships. <laughs> also, there is something that the game just showed and we did not comment on. When Long Island fired off her uh, airstrike, it deleted all enemy bullets on the screen, including a fresh torpedo launch. This is by design. You... This is by design, and you will love it. You will learn to love that. So, uh, this is... Oh, wait, we've still got uh, two minutes. I think, however, most of this is me going, Oh, yeah, 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 here's my fuel, here's my... Bully, bully! Bully are fucking adorable, but they are essentially, well, fodder. Yeah, don't ever lock them, don't ever level them up. I'm looking at you, people in exercises who brought level 100 bull in. They also marry them. I know! <laughs> to be fair, they are adorkable. I mean, if you poke them enough to get their voice acting going, would you haven't, because you have apparently disabled that on blue stacks? Uh, I haven't downloaded the audio stuff. <sighs> I know, I know, I know, I'll be fixing it, but that will be many, many weeks in the future. Um, so, using the wrong skill book. It's okay, you don't want to do that later on because you'll miss out on that sweet, sweet extra 50% XP. Honestly, it's not really that much of a drain, because the thing about the use of skill books and such is that it's very much timed and it takes four fucking ever. Yeah. Uh, oh, look oh, at that! 12,000 oh, gold oh, for a full course. God damn it! Oh, and it refreshes in an hour! Yeah, you're not full getting that. Full courses, dude! No, I did not get that. 